Oh, you want to start? Uh, yes, this is, um, it was my very first taste of guacamole in Denver, Colorado, probably 30 years ago. And <laughs> Um, my best friend from university had moved out there and she made it for me and I've made it ever since and whoever I make it for winds up using it all the time whenever they have party or friends over or whatever thing what, or whatever. I don't see it as anything special other than the presentation of it is prettier than just dumping it in a bowl. But it so, does change. I mean, it tastes tastes wonderful. Just, yeah. So um, this is what it looks like at the end. And basically you see the, the words green, white, red, yellow, green. And that's just to remember the order of the layering. So you're, you're putting in um, you know, shredded cheese and garlic and lemon and salsa and sour cream. And of course your avocados and some green onions that you know, what everyone uses to make guacamole. This is the recipe. Um, and then at the end, we'll show the recipe again for anybody who wants to start copying anything. So first you take the avocado um, pulp out of the avocado, put it in a bowl. There used to be a play and it all, was, all started with first you take an onion. <laughs> it was a Broadway show. Broadway show. <laughs> So this was two avocados. And I say at the end of the recipe, depending on how many people you have, you can make as much of this as you want. You just spread it on a bigger platter. So in my mixture here, all I'm adding is lemon juice and garlic powder. Uh, and I'm- Smashing it down. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, smashing it, <laughs> squishing it. I'm using a potato masher, if no one has ever tried that for guacamole. Yeah. Works really well. That's what it looks like after it's mashed. Okay, now you're gonna take the, the mixture and you're going to put it on a platter of any kind or size or shape. And you're not gonna, you're gonna leave around two inches around the edge because there's other layers that are gonna go over it. So they're just gonna make it wider and wider. And you wanna leave a little trim for those tortilla trips. And you can see the avocado still has a little bit of texture in it. The next layer, so this is green white, is sour cream. So basically you wanna cover every inch of the guacamole because this will stop the guacamole from turning brown. Um, I use a silicone spreader. I found that to work the best. I make kind of plops all over the green and then connect all the white um, blobs of uh, sour cream. I have, for those of you, I use 14% sour cream. You could use whatever kind you like. Um, but I have also have used yogurt if you um, don't want to use the sour cream. Uh, it's a little tartar, but it works just as well. You want to make sure to cover the edges, the end edges of the guacamole. Now, if you're having a busy day the next day, you could do this part ahead of time just cover it and put it in the fridge and it'll stay. So you have less to do when company's coming. So green, white, after green, white comes red. So this is the salsa, which um, covers the sour cream. We use a medium salsa, but if you're into, into spicy, you can use Yeah, and, and again, I just buy whatever's on sale. I'm not very particular, but make your own. Then comes the yellow. So this is grated cheddar cheese. This one is orange. You could use white. It doesn't matter what the color is. And um, you still want to see like a pizza. You want to kind of see the red and the white through it just so it looks pretty. The last is the green. Um, so it's yeah. at the bottom, green at the top. Green, white, red, yellow, green to remember it. And you'll now notice you there's a little quarter that we left without the greens because our daughter-in-law doesn't eat onions. So those, those are scallions or green onions, and I mostly use the green tops. Um, and in any of these things, you could put more or less of whatever you like. There's no real ingredient quantities. So I said, I leave that edge. So when I, just before the company comes, 
I'll put the tortilla chips around. Around. And you can use the circular ones or the doesn't matter the cup ones, whatever you like. Um, I put it around just for the presentation, and then a bowl nearby because these will go really quickly. <laughs> so um, it's just a layered guacamole. That looks great. It is. <laughs> okay. It never makes um, enough. Yeah, I can I could see how that would happen. Um, <laughs> what now when we go to our one of our son's house, the grandson who is 16 has to have his own, and then everybody else <laughs> shares the rest because he's a growing boy. So for this one I had used two avocados, a few drops of lemon juice, some garlic powder to taste, then the sour cream. Um, I start with a cup and then you add more if you need more to spread over the top of the um, avocado. Salsa, um, the shredded cheddar, scallions, you're cu cu cutting it crosswise so you get the little green circles. And um, tortilla chips. Okay. Right. You know, um, I don't know if I had mentioned this to everybody before, but um, I went in a, so Costco has their regular stores that everyone goes to. And then they have like the business Costco. So I think you have to have a business Costco membership um, to go in this store, but I don't know, they might let anyone, but there's one in Dallas. They're not everywhere. And they, it's almost like if you owned a restaurant, you could go there and I mean, they sell whole sides of beef and things. They sold bags like this in the freezer section of avocado halves already, you know, the pits out perfect. And they were green. I mean, they were the, they hadn't ever browned. It's like they had flash frozen them and you could just, take out as many as you needed for that meal wow. or something. And I would, if I didn't buy them because I think, you know, I was on a different mission that day, but I thought I have got to go back and do that because I'm not very good at picking out avocados. It's like, I just, you know, my success ratio is, is maybe two out of three are good. So that's not, you know, it's hard to plan meals that way. So um, you might tell your grandson. <laughs> when, I'm, when, I'm out, when I'm out picking, whoops, when I'm out picking avocados, whoops, um, they, they all seem to be too hard. It's very hard yeah. to find one Dur that's soft during, during the pandemic, um, we were ordering online and they sent us a couple avocados that were hard. And I, I went through every trick on the internet, but they never got soft. <laughs> I mean, if they're on their way, you can put yeah. a paper bag next to um, potatoes or onions or something in your pantry. And if you wait three, four five days, you know, they'll soften. But if they're hard and haven't started to get soft, they'll, they never seem to get soft. Well, I go back the little the little button in where the stem is to the tree. Yeah. That has to be in it still for it to continue to ripen. Oh, I didn't and know. And so that. when it's ripe, you pop that out. And once it's popped out, I then put it also in the refrigerator. But um, um, oh, Lenny and Billy That's are what? taking off. They actually had made a comment that. Um, Sam's Club has a pre-made version of what? Kathleen, you want to shout out Orchard? Oh, <laughs> they look pretty sad there, Jack. <laughs> we have two avocado trees. Um, and so but far, there are no avocados. Get, yeah, well, they always get sad when uh, they hear about people buying them in stores. You know, these are oh. <laughs> very proud of here. And they, you know, they want you to be all natural and grow them at home. So, um, so here's a, 
maybe this is a Texas version of the seven layer dip. Um, Lanny wrote that they put a layer of refried beans mixed with taco seasoning on the bottom and then put the, do your, your green, white, red, yellow, um, green. So that's, that's, uh, Definitely a text version. Yeah, it, it leads to any sort of uh, variation. You know, it, it's really just the presentation. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah, I, I've not, and I like that it's not just in a, like a dish. Yeah, makes it more accessible too. Yeah. yeah just <laughs> well, thank you. Does anyone have any, we'll have the recipe up. Um, so actually, if you could send me a couple pictures yeah. um, or the PowerPoint for the blog, that would be great. 